What's up? It's your boy Sun Twisted. I uh, just want to make a quick video for rappers to address an issue that I've been arguing with rappers about for the past couple of years online. So this question of what's your budget? Rappers thinking that producers ask you that just so they could finesse you out of your money. Like you're going to tell me a bigger number than what I normally charge. So then I'm going to overcharge you on the beat. That's not why producers ask you what's your budget. The first reason they ask you this is, do you have any money? <clears throat> or are you just somebody looking for free beats? So what's your budget is, do you actually have money to spend? Or are you wasting my time? That's the first, what's your budget? Um, The point of what's your budget? The second question is, what's your budget doesn't just mean how much money do you have Excuse me, to pay me up front right now. It's also, do you have money to pay for studio time so you could actually record a song to my beat? Do you have money to get the song mixed and mastered so that it actually sounds good against the other songs that are out there? Do you, and more importantly, do you have money to actually market and promote the finished song so that it actually gets streams and downloads and sales to generate royalties so you could actually pay me my royalty percentage, which is way higher than what I would be charging you up front. Like, you know, typical producer independently, the typical producer um, royalty rate is 10 to 25 percent. So if you can push that song to make a million dollars and I'm supposed to get 10 to 25 percent of that, that's 100 to 250 thousand dollars that comes to me. You think I'm trying to finesse you out of an extra two hundred dollars? I want the hundred thousand. Do you got money to promote that song so we can make a million dollars so I could get my two hundred thousand? Not. Oh, Tell me your budget is 500 when I normally charge four so I could squeeze the extra hundred out of you. No. So you need to stop taking offense to that. Plus, the fa it's, it's a stupid response anyway, because once somebody asks you what's your budget, they just put all the control in your hands to set the price. So if your budget is really a thousand dollars, but you don't want to spend a thousand dollars, you could say your budget is three and see if they'll work with it or not. You basically have all the leverage into deciding how much money you're gonna spend, yet you're getting mad at somebody asking you that. When I could just say, okay, you don't want me to ask you what your budget, I'm gonna just give you a price. Three G's is my fucking price. Can you afford that? No, you can't. Are you even gonna try to negotiate that? No, you're just gonna leave. Like, I can't afford that, and then there's the end of the transaction. Whereas, what your budget allows me wiggle room to work with you, especially when the money you pay a producer up front is not the cost of the beat. That's just an advance on the royalties. So the back end money is the actual cost of the beat. The money you give up front is a down payment. It's just like when you're leasing a car or getting a mortgage on a house. So <clears throat> it doesn't matter if I charge you 500 up front, 5,000 up front, or zero up front. If the back end royalties generates $100,000, I'm gonna get $100,000 regardless. It's just I'm gonna get some of it up front and then the rest on the back end, or I'll get all of it on the back end. That's the real money. So producers are not trying to finesse you out of anything. They're trying to know, are you a serious artist? Do you actually have money to spend, not just to buy my beat, but to actually make this song sound as good as possible and to push it to as many people as possible so we could generate royalties so every quarter we could be collecting a nice fat check off of this song. That's what what's your budget means. So... Can we get off of this having an attitude because somebody wants to know what your budget is? Everybody has budgets. Everyday life, you have budgets to pay your bills. It's not a negative question. It's what money do you have to actually get the thing done that you're trying to get done? That's it. It's your boy. I'm out. Peace.